In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can use Deribit to do options trading on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So once we've set up an account and we've done the KYC procedure, the next thing we need to do is top up our account. We can go to the deposit page, we can send either Bitcoin or Ethereum. Can't use stable coins currently, um, but they're going to act as collateral for buying and selling options. So once we have some funds on the account, the next thing I'd recommend doing is set up a sub account. You can see over here that I've set up this sub account for the video demo specifically. Now what that does is it isolates the margin. If I do something stupid, which let's face it isn't impossible, then this sub account will get liquidated, but it won't affect the funds in my main account. So let's have a quick look at the Bitcoin chart and come up with an option to trade for this video. So here you can see we've kind of had two waves of this bull run and we just kind of had a cooling off period. I think it peaked out around 58K and now we're just kind of hitting the 48K level. If we put on some wiggly lines on this chart, you can see there's a kind of channel forming maybe. And then we also have some support levels that are interesting. I think this $45,000 support level should hold if we just kind of highlight this area here. We have both a trend line and a horizontal um, level converging. And if the price does get down here, I would, I would expect that to be a pretty obvious long. We've also got this 42K level just below it, which I, it was the previous high, so I, I kind of I don't see a short opportunity here. There's not enough kind of room to make that possible, and it's pretty obvious long. So I think if we do get into that kind of 45k, so I think if we do kind of get into that 45k level, then that area should hold. So what I'm going to be doing on this trade is basically selling a put option. So if we go, I want something fairly short term. So I'm going to look at the 7th of March options. That's two days time, or just under two days time. You can see here. Those options will expire. Now let's have a quick look at what these numbers mean. You can see this is my, the account balance for my sub account. I've got 0.05 Bitcoin in there. And then here we have the options dates listed across the top. We've got the columns that we want available. And then we have our call options on the left and our put options on the right. And then down the middle, we've got the strike prices. So if we go down to the 45,000 strike price, what we're looking to do is sell a put option. So let's click this. You can see we've got some prices here. We've got ask prices of 0 0.0095 and a bid price of 0 0.08, 008, sorry. So as you can see, there's a massive amount of spread there and I'm, I'm in no rush to get this trade through. So I'm gonna be putting a limit order in around the leading ask price and I'm gonna be waiting patiently for that to go through. The minimum quantity on Deribit is 0.1, so we're we'll gonna be using that. Then it calculates for the order, we've got a 454 dollar value and an implied volatility of 112%. can leave this as good till cancelled, post only is fine. We don't want to reduce only because we want to take out a position here. We'd only use that if you wanted to close off a position or exit a position. And you see the price has now gone up to 0 0.01. That probably means that Bitcoin is dipping, which you can see over here it is. So let's follow that price. Go to 0 0.01 and you can see now we've placed that order. You can see our order is in the order book here at 0.01. Now you could use the API to kind of hold that price so you, that your bid fluctuates up and down with it. I say if you're doing that a lot, then that's definitely the way to go. That trade's just gone through there. So an arbitrage bot or someone on the other side of the trade has said, okay, we're gonna take that order. The price in the order book has moved. And if we close this off now, we can see our position has come in up the top here. So the PNL is currently, or the profit and loss is currently zero. Now the price of Bitcoin does go down, it does get into this kind of 45K level, then the value of this option is gonna go up. It's gonna be more valuable because we're closer to that strike price. My profit and loss will show a loss. If the price kind of hovers the same or it goes increases, then I'm gonna be actually making money from that. Let's leave that for now and check in a little bit later on. Okay, let's dive back into this now. As you can see, the market has been very kind to us. Uh, still going, we're up just under 49,000 now. And the options, our position here, if we scroll down, you can see we're up 61%. So I could leave this to expiry and the chances are that um, I would make the full amount. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this off early, partly because I wanna get this video edited, to be honest, which isn't a great reason, but let's go in and show you how to close off the trade. So because I short sold the position originally, I need to buy back that contract. So I'm gonna set this to reduce only, 
0.1 was the original size. I'm gonna buy back at this 0.0035, the current bid price. Let's put that order in the book. Again, I'm using a limit order here because I wanna make the spread. I'm not desperate to get out of this trade. So I'm happy to wait until someone on the other side of the market wants to take the trade. <clears throat> if I wanted to now cash out this account, I could transfer the funds back from my sub account into my main account and then withdraw the Bitcoin back to my personal wallet. So as you can see, in terms of ROI, I've made a significant amount on this trade. We have faded at quite a substantial amount of risk, which the market could have nuked while we're holding this position and that potentially could have taken our whole sub account with it. But we have managed that risk by separating our funds into, like, into an isolated margin sub account. So the market moved in the way it was expecting and we ended up making a significant amount of ROI on this trade. I'd say that was more luck than judgment, but it did provide a nice video demonstration of how Veribit can be used to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum for that matter. Having an options trading platform for cryptocurrencies is a really powerful tool. While it's not a magic bullet that's gonna make you a profitable trader overnight or a get rich quick scheme, it serves as an extra tool for your toolbox for positioning yourself according to your analysis and your risk tolerance. You can use your options to build up more complex dynamic trading strategies around what you think the market's gonna do, or more importantly, what the market's not gonna do. As of any kind of trading, there's a lot of risk involved, and I'd say it's worth getting more familiar with kind of perpetual future contracts first before you step into options, which adds another layer of complexity and timing on top of that. I hope this video has been useful. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and thank you for watching.